peers, we have a sum of $5,000 that's invested at a rate of 8.5% compounded some semi annually. So we want to find them out after we got a bunch of different scenarios here. So we'll go ahead and go through them. So we got uh, this. Is, we want to find the amount investment of the investment after one and a half years. So that's going to be $5,000 times one plus the interest rate, which is 0 0.085 for 8.5% 8, 8 semi annually. So that's going to be two divided by two. That's how many times we're taking it per year. And we want to find after one and a half years. So we're going to take the 1.5 years times two because that's how many times we take the interest per year. So, okay. And then, well, I'll set these up first and then I'll calculate them. And then for how long will it take to get the $7,000? Assuming this is the scenario we have, it's going to be $5,000 times one plus 0 0.85 divided by two and then raised to the 2x. Two Two's semi-annually, then x is however long it takes to get to $7,000. So we, all right, so then if the interest is compounded continuously instead of semi-annually, how long will it take to reach 7,000? For that, we just do 5,000 e raised to the 0.085x is equal to 7,000. All right, so for this one here, first first question, we get 5,000. One plus 0 0.085 divided by two, raised to the 1.5 times two, gives us 5,000. $664.98. How long to reach um, 7,000? So with this one, what's gonna happen, we divide through by 5,000, then we take the log of both sides, so we get 2x by itself, and then divide through the remainder of by two. Um, I'll just go ahead and I'll set this up. Looks like approximately 5.4 years. Convert that to months. And then for the last one, how long will that take? 5,000 E raised to the 0 0.085 X is equal to 7,000. Oops. 3.95 years, so it is shorter. 3.96 years. I guess you could round to four years. And that's it. Okay, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.